The first person I chose to admire was going to be Ralph Macchio, but I quickly disregarded the idea because another figure popped into mind. The next person to be my hero of choice is a popular animator on YouTube. Now I can already hear unspoken questions such as, who's the animator? Allow me to shed some light on this subject. The animator I chose is named Lupus Fulpis, who is a female and I admire her artwork and skill in animation. Lupus's channel consists of animations that are mostly wolves and a little lack of people. Her video style is typically music videos, different collaboration parts, and shorts that involve Lupus's own characters. Lupus did try to start an animated series called Audience, but sadly problems occurred and caused a traffic jam in the making of the series. Why I chose her is a great question and I'm glad you asked it. I chose Lupus Vulpus to be the person I admire because I think of myself as a skilled artist. As you might already know, all artists have a certain style. An example of this would be the difference between me Katie and Emily Styles. Even though we all have a similar interest in drawing wolves and other animals, our drawings are distinguished from one another. Why is this? It might be because of how we learn to draw these things, watching others draw their characters, or simply coming up with their own style. I happen to love Lupus' style and find myself taking screenshots of her characters in certain positions as a reference. Mind you, I do not steal her style and claim it my own. That would be the equivalent of taking an online source for a project and writing everything down word for word. It's the same thing in the art world, where I try to respect the other artist's artwork and style. Style isn't only shown with drawing, it also appears in handwriting. I took samples of Katie, Emily, Anna, Steve, and Karen's handwriting. Can you see the difference between their styles? Even though they all have a similarity to each other, they will never be the same. It's the same with me and Lupus' artwork. I'm going to draw Wolf in the same position as Lupus' own Wolf. Notice the style difference and similarities. No matter how many times I draw this Wolf in the same position, they will never look identical to her own style of Wolf. Because no matter what I do, my style will never be hers, and her style will never be mine. You might be wondering how this ties in with Millstream Farm, right? Well, this project is a great example of how I can show my creative abilities in schoolwork. Sometimes I doodle on the sides of my pages when I'm in class, and surprisingly some of those doodles are related to what I'm learning. An example of this would be when I was doing my ruminant test and I drew a sheep in the before and after stages of our lab work. Karen didn't even have bad criticism for it because it was work related. My talent in art obviously shows vividly in art classes, which are sported by my mom. Lupus Vulpus inspires me to develop my own style, and she inspires me to take my art further. One day, I want to be an anime like her and create my own cartoon series, which will hopefully get me famous. But I'd rather not go ahead of myself. Right now, I think I'll continue to work on projects like this, and then move to the next step and work on animation. Thank you for watching my presentation.